All right, everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to load a module for Fantasy Grounds Unity. Maybe you picked up a module on the fantasygrounds.com website. Maybe you picked up something on Steam. Maybe you downloaded a community form uh, module and you wanna load it. So let's go into your library, which is in the lower right-hand corner. Click on that button. It's gonna open up the library interface. Now, to load a module, you're going to want to click on the modules button here. And when you click on that, it opens up the data module activation. This is where all of your modules are stored. Just take into consideration, depending on what rule set you're using, a lot of those modules may be tied to just that rule set. So I'm using the D&D 5e rule set and I want to load the player's handbook. So all I'm going to want to do is just type in player or you know, if you're new to Fantasy Grounds, you probably won't have as mod many modules as I have and you will want to search for your module. And don't forget, there are navigation buttons with pages here as well. So here is the D&D player's handbook. I want to load this, so I'm just going to click the load button. Depending on the size of the module, usually core books, monster manuals, DM guides, those usually take a couple of seconds to load. And you can see that that's loaded. The book is open and you'll notice that there is a green check here as well. This means that this is uh, allowing your players to see it. So when your players log in, you'll also want to tell them to load their modules that you have available for them and then they can load them as well. Use the content to create characters, etc. So if you do not want, and we have usually, when you buy a module from Fantasy Grounds, usually all of the player data is already taken care of for you in its own module. So if you don't say, if you don't want someone to see a book, all you have to do is down in the lower left-hand corner, take this red X and just drag and drop it up to the book that you loaded and your players will not be able to see it. It'll be blocked for them, but for the player's handbook, I definitely want my players to be able to see it. So there you go. Now, the other thing that I want to show you, that's how you load a module. Uh, let's also look at, uh, let's see, Tasha's. Okay, so we'll just type in Tasha. Now you'll notice that some modules, especially the ones that you purchase from Fantasy Grounds, or maybe you create, you took Tasha's book and you broke it up into the Game Master's content in one module and the player's content in the other module. So just make sure you load both modules. And you can see here is the uh, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. This is for the Game Master. And you can see that it has a red X where the players can't see the GM content, which is by default. And then here's the player's con uh, content for Tasha's Cauldron. It says all the races, feats, etc. And you can see that that is usable by your players. So we'll load that. And there you go. Now, the last thing I want to show you on the library interface, uh, there's a couple of other buttons. So the first button is the store. And when you click on the store button, a browser window will pop up and it will take you to the fantasygrounds.com website. And you can search for modules there. And the export button is for if you are creating a module and you want to save it, you want to export it, this button is for you. And then you just basically just take care of the rest and I'll have other tutorials on module exportation later. So there you go, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until next video, happy gaming.